An outstanding question in neurosensor systems is to understand how do insects discriminate scents. Insects, such as moths, sense chemicals with receptors on antennas. The signal is then transformed to the antenna lobe, the primary processing neuropill for olfactory signals. Recordings from neurons in the antenna lobe show that it produces a unique pattern of activity per each stimulus. These patterns are termed as neural codes. For example, in response to a floral scent input, projection neurons produce the following firing pattern. While for a pheromone scent, a completely different firing pattern is observed. So effectively, the antenna lobe acts like an odor encoder, coding distinct scents into distinct neural codes. Neural codes and their dynamics must be described in detail to unravel the encoding principles of the antennal lobe. Such a description is currently lacking, since the connectome of the antennal lobe is unresolved. In our study, we propose a novel approach to construct the network wiring from data and establish a dynamical model. We perform experiments on male moths perceiving different stimuli and record the activity of more than 100 neurons. Our main contributions are constructing an optimal odor space, scent recognition, and finding the connectome that supports encoding dynamics. The key step of our method is to derive an orthogonal representation of scents from recordings. For example, these two axes represent two different odors, and the fixed points represent the thresholds that will be used for recognition. Unlike previous works, we actually found the optimal representation, which we call the other space. Given a new multineural recording that represents a stimulus, projection to this space results in convergence to one of the fixed points. The orthogonality of this space, which is the key contribution of our work, effectively provides recognition of the others. As can be seen here, given a flower stimulus, it goes to the flower region, horizontal trajectory, and given a female pheromone, results in vertical trajectory. Notice how it goes up as time progresses. If no stimulus exists and recording is done, we can see that the trajectory just randomly stays around zero. This framework is easily generalizable to more than two others. Moreover, the axis of the other space or we call them population vectors, allow us to discover the connectome wiring. We show that this is an optimal wiring, as it maximizes the contrast of neural codes. Simulating the dynamics of the connectome reveals that its trajectories are similar to the experimental ones, and suggests that the dynamical principles upon which the model was designed are the principles underlying the antenna lobe wiring. As a pre-processing step, we associate a population vector per each scent to achieve a library of orthogonal population vectors. Each vector is a neural code. To complete the library to a basis, we add a remainder vector that represents non-selective neurons. It is different than principal component analysis since each scent is represented by a single vector. We then use the library of the population vectors to construct the connectivity of the network. At the first step, we project the implicit network onto the population vectors and obtain a reduced model. Next, we calibrate the reduced model. Particularly, for each input we require a stable fixed point located at 1 in the direction of the corresponding vector and 0 in all other directions, including the remainder. The last step is to extrapolate the calibrated reduced system to a suggested wiring for the lateral inhibition in the antenna lobe.